Okay, this video is going to be about uh, the program Formide 2.6, which is a, a form building um, for websites, uh, and it is an absolute beautiful program. Um, as, as you'll be able to see on the screen there, it is, uh, it's very nice. However, um, I have had so many problems with this. And also, um, judging by uh, what's uh, some YouTube uh, answers and that to Formite's uh, videos and that, I, I think uh, many people have had lots of issues in that. So um, I'm going to try and solve uh, one or two of them for you. If uh, and, and it might not be your problem, but it might be as well. So um, what we're going to do is, is is the basics really. It's just a drag and drop program, just like uh, many others. Um, I'll put a name, last name, and email in there, and we just um, we just well, pop in the text areas as you see on on many of these programs, and that just goes in there like that. Where it says my form as default, I mean we can change that to um, contact us, and uh, that's can't even spell us. Um, so if you just Click on that, that's what that looks like. And so far, so good. So here we go. Um, we're going to preview and test this as, as we have these. Uh, our preview and test goes to Formite's um, server themselves. Um, so we'll do that and that should work. I'll just come on there. So that's building up. And I've done this in purple There's, as um, as you can see, there's all sorts of different colors and there's more than that. But uh, I've done it in purple. And the reason for that is this is where I want uh, my uh, contact form. And it's on the contact um, that I've already got. But this is, uh, of course, a demonstration on a website. So here we go. So here we are. Um, this should say thank you for, um, for your form or something like that. If, you, if it doesn't, um, it would just like click and that's all you would see as it is on the screen. So we'll just do that, submit, and yes, that is exactly how it should work. However, that seems so easy to do and everything is tickety-boo. However, there's so many problems when it gets to the server side. Um, I've asked actually for, my, for uh, the instructions of how to do this and I'm more confused than ever. So um, on some it seems to work, on some of my websites it seems to work and sometimes it doesn't. I've done uh, PHP programming before, uh, a long time ago I must admit, but I, I still couldn't understand it. So anyway, so what do we do? Well, here we go. We've got this contact, contact us form and so we're going to save this to HTML as it says there. So we put it in this and I'm going to call this contact. Um, yeah, so I'll put that contact like that and my test site. So when you click on this, nothing really should happen because there's not really any PHP script to make it go. So there you go. That's There's absolutely nothing happens and that's fine because it's not on the server and it's not going to form my um, server either. So this is on the desktop here and this is what it looks like. So they say um, that's a formide when, when I've contacted them before. You open this up um, and then you take your code out and then you pop it into another page, blah de blah. And they don't tell you whether you're supposed to put it into a PHP or whether you're supposed to put it in HTML. Now the only way I can get this working is by putting it into a PHP uh, file and I cannot do it with the HTML. I just cannot I kind of find a way of doing this. Anyway, so this is what it actually looks like, what the form might bring up. So what we're going to do here is this bit at the top, this line of code at the top, this PHP to there is very, very important. And also here, form wide, and that's also very important. So if we just come out of there, now how do we build our page up from there? I'm going to keep the files that they've used. And what I'm going to do is this contact, uh, I'll just knock this down. Okay, so this is my contact page, like I said. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all the um, code in this. 
so what that does is it's a site from there that's the page and this is the code and the reason I'm going to do that is because all the say I haven't actually got the website on this particular computer so um, I would mean a lot of work to, to do for the video so anyway I'm going to do that and I'm going to put it into um, my PHP file so it's the PHP file that you put it into okay um, so what we're going to do is we're not going to touch that line of code at the top this line here we're not going to touch that because that is so important but what we are going to do is we're going to go from the next line um, I'll tell you what I'll just knock form wide underneath because we need that as well so I'm going to cut that out put that underneath the HTML at the bottom so we're going to do that and then we're going to go back to the uh, the code that I've already done copy and we're going to put this uh, from that first line of code of the PHP so we're going to do that and we're going to paste that into there now we want to know where um, I'll just put this on word wrap um, we want to know where our form is uh, so we can just pop that in so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put formoid and this is very important this line of code here formoid and I'm going to put that where I want my form to go so I want that formoid to go here where the original script is that the um, the form that's already on the website so I'm going to do that and I'm going to paste that there so that's Windows 8 as you can see making nuisance of itself like always and we're going to file and we're going to save that so what we're going to do is now um, when we open this up again we should see all the code um, as as the uh, CSS and all the rest of it um, when it finally loads and there you are you have the top uh, top line of code like I said plus all the other CSS and the form wide is there like I put it so how do we get now this is the interesting part and uh, this is where it gets a bit tricky well it's all a bit tricky to be honest but um, so we'll find um i'll just make that quick connection again and right okay um, so uh where will i just find that again um i just lost my way a little bit but so here we are and we're going to find the test site so there's the test site so here we have our files so we're going to put them in there and we're going to drag these over into here like you would normally and I'm going to overwrite the contact and that's a risk because I'm risking everything on this file on this PHP file so the directory listed is supposed to be successful so what we do now is we go on to contact and we'll put that in as PHP and there we are and that's the contact so does it actually work indeed it does and that is absolutely fantastic now i didn't expect that to work straight away i've got to be honest so we can go back to our contact html page because the the links won't link to contact php because they're not designed that way at the moment but when you have problems like i have with this and i didn't actually think that would work um, one thing to do is get the latest on your server look for php and you look for this sign here and after, this is what actually um, was the problem with a lot of my uh, sites when you open that up so you click that don't be frightened there's not gonna anything's gonna happen it's php 5.3 now if we put our 5.2 okay now i don't expect that to work so we'll go back to contact php 
So it worked before on uh, PHP 5.3. I'll try this again. Now there you are. So there's absolutely nothing there. You can't see an absolute thing. So what the problem is, is it's a PHP problem in your server. So when you go, uh, this is a uh, triple one web host. This is what, the, uh, what mine's called. Yours will be something different like GoDaddy, but look at the PHP version. So it's all around this here. And just check that out, because this is real, really important. If it's 5.2, it's not going to work. If it's 5.3, it will. Now put it at the latest edition, which, which is 5.5. So that's PHP 5.5. Update it and just knock that on like that, and your form should work like so. So, you put in your first name. Uh, my name is Nigel, uh, my second name is Brewster, and your email address, uh, whatever it is, my name's that's Hotmail. I'll put Yahoo, and I could just say a few words like. Uh, uh, isn't it a nice day uh, and lovely for the birds and we'll just send that so to make sure that everything's working as I know it is because that comes up there thanks for filling out my form so we just check it in my email account which is uh, hotmail and there we go and just wait on that there MB mine, Yahoo, Nigel Brewster, text area, isn't it a nice day and lovely for the birds? So there you have it. And uh, if there's any questions or comments you've got about that, I'll only be too happy to help you out if I can. Um, I'm not saying I'm an expert on this. I know it's a very, very difficult program when it comes to the server side, but uh, rest assured, I think, I think it is actually a very nice program. I just think they're not explaining it quite right, uh, the company. But once you get going with it, it's it's a really super thing, and it absolutely it sets your forms off absolutely lovely. So um, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, so uh, subscribe if you can. So thanks a lot.